Mr. Rehan Alawala is the founder and president of Super Technologies Inc., a United States-based company started in the field of software solutions for the telecom industry. He is an entrepreneur with a seemingly insatisfiable appetite for starting new businesses. At the age of 13, he founded his first company called Pakistan Computers in Pakistan, and by the age of 16, he created Commodore computer accessories, including voice digitizers, modems, and speed increases, whilst he was in high school. Now, he is the president and CEO of different companies around the world, including the United States, Malaysia, Singapore, Dubai, Europe, and Pakistan. Some of his apparent and most significant ventures are DIVX.net, Virtual Phone Line, Superphone, Muntu Video Productions, Techistan Magazine, TV Pakistan, Paki.com, IPPABX.com, Health Management System, School Management System, Building Management System, and Rayan Autos. Rayan Alawala is the expert in the field of VoIP, ERP systems, CRM systems architecture, VoIP network design, and international marketing. He regularly speaks on these topics in conferences and seminars around the world. Rayan Alawala is the keen contributor in philanthropic works and supports various NGOs and charity foundations. He also founded the Rayan Foundation with the mission to eradicate poverty from the world. In this process, he has started Rayan School, Rayan University, Rayan Training, and is creating 100 small business models that can be started with only $100 with a goal of creating 1 million businesses at least in the next few years. He has said, let's create a platform that unites humanity and creates a quality like never before. Welcome to The Query, this is Zan Khan. Today we're going to discuss humanity and peace through social media. Today the guest of our show is a social media icon and he's also a social activist. Welcome to our show, Rehan Alawala, this is Zan Khan. It's a pleasure to have you on The Query. Thank you, Zan, for inviting me. Uh, Rihanna Lavala, let's get to the first question. In the age of social media, how important uh, is social media in, in bringing humanity together, in uniting them? So, um, in my opinion, what um, has happened because of the internet has is that, you know, the whole world has become one ocean. And on top of that ocean's layer, um, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, especially Facebook, in my opinion, allows us to create a collective brain uh, for humanity. So people who are far away, like you are sitting in New York, I'm in Canada, far away, we are collectively learning, we are collectively sharing, we are collectively uh, growing together and um, trying to make progress in whatever our goals are uh, for the world. So it's no longer a single brain trying to work on something, it's a collective brain in my opinion, what Facebook allows us to do. And as more and more social networks will appear, as more and more bandwidth will appear, as um, virtual reality glasses will appear, this collective brain will become more and more powerful and hopefully we can use it for the betterment of the humanity. That's how I see it, um, you know, social media, you know, doing collective good for the world. Um, Rehan, you being a, a social media activist, um, what do you advise to your viewers as to how they should use their social media productively? So, um, I suggest everyone in the world to live their life, the public life which they're living, as publicly as possible, number one. Number two, they should have a, at least a decent photo on their profile and turn on their follower function. So that whatever their their thing is, whatever their specialty is, the world can cling on to them and learn from them without them even trying to do that. So they become the inspiration which they're supposed to be for the world. So they don't really have to go and change the world. They just work on themselves. And as a byproduct of being who they are, they inspire a lot of, a lot of people. So for example, say Zen, um, does this and that, and even if he goes out and, and has a Starbucks, 
if his, if his followers are from all over the world, because remember, we're no longer living in one country anymore. We can have followers from everywhere, and we will have followers from everywhere in the world. We are trans. We are giving those ideas of having a cup of coffee in a Starbucks in New York to somebody in Zambia or in Pakistan or in Guana or Madagascar, where these Starbucks have not reached yet. So. Just by sharing that cup of coffee in a in a coffee shop, you're giving them an idea that they might go ahead and start their own coffee shop, or they go and go ahead and take a franchise of it and try to bring it the same thing into their own country. So this will allow the good things which we see around us to and good ideas which we have around us to transport over the internet to other parts of the world. Uh, just by being yourself, you don't have to really try to teach anyone. You just be yourself, and you know a lot of people follow these these people who they like, and we automatically become like the people we like. So I I personally request people from around the world, especially in the states, to uh, to open up their Facebook and to show the world what the states has to offer. And you know what has happened over the years is that the Europe European countries and you know and the U.S. has become a magnet for good people, and all of us from the other parts of the world have migrated to these countries. And the good brains of these countries have left the country. So we can use Facebook to to teach the people who are left behind and show them the ideas and show them the values of the states um, over Facebook, so that the whole ideology and the good things which we are doing. You know, gets transported over the web. Um, give some useful tips on how to engage the audience and educate them. What tactics, in your opinion, are most useful? So, a lot of people are worried about privacy. Um, so, the best thing I found is that be a human being on your social media, on your Facebook, especially uh, when you're having a cup of coffee or when you're having a when you're having a meal. Um, you share that with the rest of the world because the most intimate thing we can do when you meet, so say I meet Zen, and the most intimate thing Zen can do is Zen can say, you know what, come home, over to my home, and we'll have a family meal together, um, and that's the most closest you can bring to someone. You're opening up your your house, your your home, to someone to come in, and you're giving them your trust, and. And in, in automatically, when you give them the trust, the trust comes back to you. So I suggest to people, you know, sh sh no, don't just share good content, because if if there was only good content all the time, or 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 good, you know, good thoughts or good this and good that, it doesn't show your humanity to the other person. So share some content which is real, like you know, having a cup of coffee with friends or. Having your meals and share that share that with other people so that they will share that same thing back and it brings a trust between them uh, between each other and they don't even feel that you're so far away they feel they can relate to you they you would you would become part of their family uh, just by doing that small little thing that's my one big tip for for anyone who wants to who wants to really engage their audience and really want to get through to anyone. Um, okay, last question. Uh, what message would you want to give the viewers how, uh, who are following your techniques uh, to build a better world? Um, so most of us in the world are living in our cocoons. And when we live in our cocoons, we don't end up doing what we really want to do. Um, the idea is to be become the butterfly you're supposed to be, come out of your shell, and then go out and give your gift to the world. I mean, every single person, in my opinion, has a gift. But we hide that gift with the rest of the world, and we don't show it to them. Oh, what will these people say? What would my aunt say? What would my uncle say? Uh, we have this mindset that we don't come out and you know, pick up our phone and just make a little video and explain to things what, what you think. Um, look at this Look at this as your archive. Leave a message behind for your grandchildren. Um, you know, these videos will be there and people will be looking at it for the rest of the human history. Uh, even if nobody cares, you just leave it behind for your grandchildren. Um, so that's what I would say to if you want to do good first become amazing 
and then people will just follow you because there are and the, the beautiful part of because of Facebook and the internet is that you can have a weird mindset or a different mindset what's weird weird is normally to us is which is very different and then you can go out and find somebody very similar like yourself which was not possible before um, over the internet and then you can talk to them and enhance your own mindset and en enhance your own thoughts and work on them and create something amazing for the planet so most people I encounter are wanting to do every single person I would say I mean wants to do something amazing for the world but they're not able to do it because they're shy and they're scared so I would say come out of your shell make a small little statement as a status make a small little video of this is what you want to do and this is how you want to change the world even if you have an idea uh, you know a lot of entrepreneurs have a lot of ideas which they can't really implement. So go out and give that idea to the planet so that somebody else can go ahead and do it, maybe. Or maybe it'll form a team. So just don't keep it inside you. Just, you know, take it out, give it to the world, and something always great happens. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe in a year's time, but you never know what you're doing is, how, how is it going to impact the planet. Thank you so much, Rahan Alavala, for being on The Query. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you, man, for being awake at this hour. This was Rahan Alavala discussing uh, how to bring humanity together, how to bring peace, and how to make a better world through social media. Until the next episode of The Query, this is Zan Khan. Take care.